आज साइंटिस्ट की जोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया सप्रून सोलन हिमाचल प्रदेश अवर की नोट स्पीकर अनएबल टू ज्वाइन दिस वेबिनार ड्यू टू सम अर्जेंट मीटिंग विद द डायरेक्टर ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ इन प्लेस ऑफ आर डॉक्टर पी सी पठानिया साइंटिस्ट डी डिप्टी डायरेक्टर इन हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड रीजनल सेंटर जोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट्री एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज सपून सोलन विल डिलीवर द की नोट एड्रेस वेलकम सर respected doctor our chief guest today's webinar doctor pc pathania keynote speaker engineer sukhveer singh ji mundi fei chairman iei punjab and chandigarh state center doctor ps balgeer ji doctor tara singh ji kamal doctor daljeet singh ji and our worthy principal doctor baljeet singh ji my colleagues and dear participants a warm welcome to today's webinar which is going on a world water day the theme of this year is ground water making the invisible to visible mic no before we start the webinar first of all i invite engineer sukhveer singh ji mundi chairman iei to formally welcome इनोवेशन काउंसिल बी एम खालसा कॉलेज गढ़शंकर on the celebration of world water day the theme of this year world collaboration ground yeah na making the invisible visible i welcome the speaker of today's event dr prakash chand shuruaat shuruaat hone kitne bade bande hain the deputy director in high altitude regional center geological survey of india sapru solan he has more than 24 years of research teaching administrative experience He served in various institutions and has written two books, ten book chapters, and edited twenty books journals. He published hundred six research papers and sixty five abstracts and attended many conferences, seminars. He has delivered many invited talks, acted as a source person, chairman, co-chairman in various scientific fora. He is working as member at board. and viewers subject matter specialist member of national professional advisory board of 12 scientific bodies he has guided well phd student and presently guiding four phd students dr pathania has got young scientist award department of science and technology new delhi and second young scientist award by uttar pradesh geological society aya So welcome, Chief Guest of today's event, Dr. Rajan Nagarwal, working as Principal Scientist and Head of Department of Renewable Energy Engineering. He is also former Head of Department of Soil and Water Engineering, Punjab University. He was Bachelor Professor Manjeet Singh in a Distinguished Professor Chair Award and also awarded Gold Medal in 2017 by Royal Conservation Society of India. previously head of the department of soil and water engineering he is also chief scientist of irrigation water management and principal investor of four ad hoc projects he has more than 230 publication in international national journals popular articles book chapter authored a book entitled fundamental of ground water and drainage engineering i also welcome uh, darji singh chairman to the ana local center and all council members committee members staff members students fellow engineers ladies and gentlemen thank you and have a thank you sir hmm. now i request our keynote speaker 
डॉक्टर पी सी पठानिया जी साइंटिस्ट जी एंड डिप्टी डायरेक्टर इन हाई ऑर्टिट्यूडल सेंटर जोजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया सप्रून सोलन हिमाचल प्रदेश टू डिलीवर हिज लेक्चर ऑन वर्ल्ड वाटर डे वेलकम सर एंड ओवर टू यू सर थैंक यू डॉक्टर मनवीर जी रिस्पेक्टेड और दिस फंक्शन चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर राजन अग्रवाल जी प्रिंसिपल साइंटिस्ट एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रिन्यूअल एनर्जी इंजीनियरिंग इंजीनियर सुखवीर सिंह जी चेयरमैन आई ई आई पंजाब एंड चंडीगढ़ स्टेट सेंटर डॉक्टर मनवीर कौर हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइफ साइंसिस बी एम खालसा कॉलेज गढ़ शंकर ऑफिशियल secretary of himachal pradesh so she has <coughs> to attend meeting there so she nominated me to deliver this talk so i am coming directly to my presentation <coughs> Is it visible? <coughs> Doctor Manvi. Hello. And sir, yes sir. Is it visible? Yes, it is visible, sir. Full screen, the government. It's okay now. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. It is visible. Okay. Uh, so, for a slideshow. Yes, yes. So <coughs> today I am delivering this lecture on World Water Day, two zero. 22 and uh, in this year the theme of the uh, ground water making the invisible visible so as you know that water is one of the best gifts from god to humans on this planet there would be no life without water so water is also known as a blue gold <coughs> World Water Day is an annually United Nations observance day held on 22nd March that highlights the importance of fresh water. The day is used to advocate for the sustainable management of fresh water resources. So World Water Day <coughs> became a UN observance day in 1993. it seeks to focus attention on the global <laughs> water crisis <laughs> on 22 march every year people and organizations mark world water day by taking action to tackle the water crisis what why 22 march the idea for this international day goes back in 
in the Earth summit held at Rio de Janeiro, the year in which the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, that same year the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution by which 22nd March of each year was declared World Day for Water to be observed starting in 1993. So the intention is to inspire people around the world to learn more about water related issues and to take action in make a difference. In 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there was an additional focus on hand washing and hygiene. <clears throat> Every person on earth needs water to survive. Without it, many of us would get sick and even result in death. While almost 70% of earth is made of water, many parts of the world suffer from clean water shortage. With growing population rates and such a small percentage of all the water on earth fit for consumption, it only make, makes sense that we must preserve and conserve this precious resource. So water conservation means using our limited water supply wisely and caring for it properly. Since each of us depends on water to sustain life, it is our responsibility to learn more about water conservation and how we can help keep our sources pure and safe for generations to come. So water conserva conservation is not a job that is reserved for scientists, hydrologists, foresters, wildlife managers, city planners, farmers, or mine owners. <clears throat> Instead, it is up to each and every one of us to conserve water. So reason to conserve water, why? we have to conserve water. It minimizes the effects of drought and water store, uh, shortages. It guards against rising costs and political conflict. It helps to preserve our environment. It makes water available for recreation purposes. It builds safe and beautiful communities. So water conservation requires both thought and effort. But every little bit helps. Don't think that what you do does not matter. We can all make changes in our lifestyle to reduce our water uses. The trick is making water conservation a way of life, not just something we think about once in a while. <clears throat> so in this year, the theme of uh, World Water Day is groundwater, making the invisible visible. So, World Water Day, making the invisible visible. Groundwater is invisible, but its, its impact is visible everywhere. Out of sight, under our feet, groundwater is a hidden prayer that enriches our lives. Almost all of the liquid fresh water in the world is groundwater. As climate change gets worse, groundwater will become more and more critical. We need to work together to sustainable manage these precious resources. Groundwater may be out of sight, but it must not be out of mind. So what is World Water Day? World Water Day is an annual United Nations observance focusing on the importance of fresh water, coordinated by UN Water and led by one or more UN Water members and partners with a related mandate. World Water Day celebrates water and raises awareness of about 2.2 billion people living without access to safe water. It is about taking ac action to tackle the global water crisis, 
a core focus of world water day is to support the achievement of sustainable developmental goal sdg 6 water and sanitation for all by 2030 so <clears throat> water means different things to different people this conservation is about what water means to you how is water important to your home and family life your livelihood your cultural practices your well-being your local environment in households schools workplaces water can mean health <coughs> hygiene dignity and productivity in cultural religious and spiritual places water can mean a connection with creation community and oneself in natural spaces water can mean peace harmony and preservation today water is under extreme threat from a growing population increasing demands of agriculture and industry and the worsening impacts of climate change so what is ground water ground water is the water found underground in aquifers which are geological formation of rocks sands and gravels that holds <coughs> that hold substantial quantities of water ground water feeds springs rivers lakes and wetlands and seeps into oceans ground water is recharged mainly from rain and snow water snowfall infiltrating the ground ground water can be extracted to the surface of the ground sir and it Uh, sir uh, slides move nahi kar rahi hai aje tujhe move nahi kiti hai move nahi kar rahi that is still on a first slide first uh, i will check i think uh, there are some internet problems <laughs> wait yes स्लाइड शो coming notes okay it's not moving no yes madam yes sir loop ho rahi hai स्लाइड What is ground water? Is uh, yes, so ground water is a water found underground in aquifers, which are geological formation of rocks, sand, and gravels that hold 
substantial qualities of water ground water feeds springs rivers lakes and wetlands and seeps into oceans ground water is recharged mainly from rain and snowfall in infiltrating the ground ground water can be extracted to the surface by pumps and wells so if you will come to this slide then you will see that ground water is a water which is uh, found underground in aquifers so these all are the <coughs> aquifers which are geological formation of rocks sands and gravels that can hold waters so the water goes from here discharge from this place ground water and that goes and recharge from here that will come automatically and come to stream and lake and like this one likewise the recycle of all this ground water takes place so why should we care about ground water ground water is being overused in many areas where more water is abstracted from aquifers then in recharged by rain and snow what one is rain and other is snow ground water pollution is a particular problem that can take decades or even centuries to recover from in some places we do not know how much ground water lies beneath our feet which means we could be trailing to harness a uh, potentially vital water resources exploring protecting and sustainably using ground water will be central to surviving and adapting to climate change and meeting the needs of the ground of the growing population so why is ground water important almost all the liquid fresh water in the world is a ground water life would not be possible without ground water most arid areas of the world depend entirely on ground water ground water supplies a large proportion of the water we use for drinking sanitation food production and industrial processes ground water is also critically important to the healthy functioning of our ecosystems such as wetland and rivers over ex exploitation of ground water can lead to land instability and subsidence and in coastal regions to sea water intrusion under the land why should we care about ground water ground water is being overused in many areas where more water is abstracted from aquifers then in recharge by rain and snow continuous overuse leads eventually to depletion of the resource ground water is polluted in many areas and remediation is often a long and difficult process this increases the cost of processing non water and sometimes even prevents its use in other places we do not know how much ground water lies beneath our feet which means to we could be falling to harness a potential vital water resources exploring protecting and sustainably using ground water will be central to surviving and adapting to climate change and meeting the needs of a growing population what can we do about ground water ground water has always been critically important but not fully recognized we must protect our ground water from pollution and use it sustainably balancing the needs of people and the planet ground water vital role in water and sanitation systems agriculture industry ecosystems and climate change adaptation must be reflected in sustainable development policy making 
under the SDG 6 Global Acceleration Framework, particularly in the areas of innovation, governance, data and information, we need to see urgent action in relation to groundwater. So the invisible ingredient in foods. So population growth, rapid urbanization, and economic development are just some of the factors driving increased demands of, for water, energy, and food. Agriculture is the largest consumption of the world freshwater resources. About 40% of uh, all the water used for irrigation comes from aquifers, especially in water <coughs> countries. The provision of cheap energy for pumping groundwater for irrigated agriculture can lead to groundwater depletion and declining water quality with potentially severe consequences for those who now depend on groundwater irrigation. Furthermore, the use of fertilizers and pesticides in agriculture is a serious threat to groundwater quality. So groundwater quality and pollution, how pollution affects the groundwater, the potential threats to the quality of groundwater are natural contamination and contaminant sources from land use and other human activity that is anthropo anthropogenic contamination Two of the most widely spread geogenic contaminants are arsenic and uh, fluoride. Naturally occurring arsenic pollution in groundwater affects millions of people on all continents. Therefore, groundwater quality needs to be assessed and monitored regularly. Anthropo anthropogenic contamination includes the effects of agriculture intensification, urbanization, population growth, and climate change. There are limitations to groundwater use, such as groundwater quality and high cost of abstraction from deep aquifers. Furthermore, groundwater is not always available in sufficient qualities in the places where there is a highest human demand for water. So, these are the key messages of the World Water Day 22. Groundwater is invisible, but its impact is visible everywhere. Almost all of the liquid fresh water in the world is a groundwater. Sporting drinking water supply, sanitation system, farming industry, and ecosystem. What we do not we do on the surface matters underground we must only put harmless biodegradable products on the soil and use water as efficiently as possible groundwater crosses borders we must work together to manage transboundary groundwater resources we cannot manage what we do not mayor Groundwater must be explored, analyzed, and monitored. Groundwater will play a critical role in adapting uh, to climate change. We must protect and explore groundwater, balancing the needs of people and the planet. So from the beginning of the time, the water was a precious liquid, what was used for cleaning. Today, this water must be clean to ensure our survival. So, what is so? One message is: uh, uh, World Water Day is a day for uh, people to show support and appreciate the fresh water, non-salty water, which is only one percent of the uh, world water. So, we have to uh, support and appreciate uh, that uh, uh, the fresh water. So, these are the reducing and reu reusing of uh, all this uh, uh, water. The nature for water theme hopes to explore 
how we can use nature to overcome the water issues we face in the 21st century water and our environment environmental damage and climate change is having a great impact on water related problems around the world issues such as food droughts and water pollution are increasing by degraded vegetation soil rivers and lakes so ecosystem when we stop looking after our natural ecosystem we make it harder to make sure we can provide everyone in the world with the safe water we need for survival so we have to think and uh, these are uh, polluted various polluted surface of water by lead mercury cadmium arsenic and uh, other nature based solution so nature based solution can also help us improve many of our water problems by using strategies like planting new forests reconnecting rivers to food plant and restoring dedicated wetlands we can help rebalance the water recycle and improve the quality of water for everyone water available level and supply we can utilize nature based water storage through wetlands soil moisture or ground water recharging this can help maintaining a more cost effective and sustainable sustainable way then some grey infrastructure systems like dams to store our water supplies so these are water quality pollution from agriculture has a huge impact on the quality of water supply by using nature based solutions such as conservation agriculture that is protecting soil from erosion maintaining soil cover and cultivating diverse plant species so let us start from the uh, small that we should all be thinking about ways in which we can nurture nature to support healthy water ways and uh, encourage our local and uh, wider community to promote more nature based solutions to improve our water challenges so thank you very much this is all about thank you sir thank you. and uh, i am very thankful to the organizers and uh, who has given me an opportunity to uh, speak uh, on this occasion so uh, thank you sir thank you dr pc pathania ji actually madam has prepared all things all slides are prepared uh, madam madam just uh, given me that uh, you have to speak so this yes, slides are there but they are not moving from one to and we are uh, see only at uh, few slides some uh, internet problem is here because uh, it's a uh, okay sir thank you thank you again for your informative lecture anji now i request our chief guest uh, dr rajan agarwal principal scientist and head department of renewable energy engineering to deliver his concluding remarks on today's webinar over to you sir um Good morning, sir. Sir, I think Rajan sir has not joined still. So you are not audible. madam manveer yes sir uh, now you propose a vote of thanks okay sir 
Now I request uh, Dr. Kuldeep Kaur, Assistant Professor, Botany, Department of Life Sciences, BM Khalsa College, Garshankar, to extend a vote of thanks. Dr. Kuldeep Kaur. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, all. I, Dr. Kuldeep Kaur, on behalf of Principal BAM Khalsa College, Garshankar, acknowledge my thanks to the keynote speaker, chief guest, and all the participants for sparing their time for this webinar. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you Bhutaniya, sir. Thank you, Thank Kuldeep, ma'am. Thank you, Jakar, sir. Thank you, Ji. Thank you, Ji. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Th